What a night it was for the Southern Ohio Copperheads as they come from behind, score six runs in one inning, and win eight to six in game one of this best two or three series against the Cincinnati Steam. Kevin, it started slow, kind of similar to Stark County a night ago, but then everything clicked at once and the Copperheads had a huge victory. You just can't say enough about this win. It looked like maybe in the first inning, there would have been one inning that did the Copperheads in. But quite honestly, it was the exact opposite. The Copperheads were able to have a big seventh inning in which they played at sixth run, and that ended up being Cincinnati's ultimate demise. In the ball game, the Copperheads got good pitching late in the ball game. They had help from James Range, then Eric Shanahan, and of course, Josh Rader. And then as far as the hitting was concerned, a number of guys got involved. How big is a win like this? I mean, the team should probably rally around it going into tomorrow's game, too. Obviously, it's a big win no matter where it is in the season. But to get this type of win in the first game of a series in the playoffs, it's just absolutely huge. This team can now go into Cincinnati and have the 1-0 lead, and they have to be feeling pretty confident. After the ball game, we caught up with a couple of players and also the head man and talked to him about how big this win really was. You know, big one, probably the biggest one of the season. You know, from where we started at the beginning of the game with that three-run first inning, you know, to the end of the game with us, you know, battling, keep battling all the way back. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a real good win for us. Yeah, it was a huge win for us. Uh, big momentum going into tomorrow. Uh, bullpen came in and did the job. So, and pitching's been real good and hitting came through in the seventh inning. Certainly, it was certainly it was exciting, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, the, the crowd was lively. It's a great comeback. Uh, um, and so, um, you know, I think I think there's a lot of emotion with this game. But, you know, in the end, in the end, it's worth one. Uh, in the end, we still have to win one more. Uh, uh, so we have we have a ton of work left left to do. And, and, and you know, what we want to make sure is we don't want to get caught up in, in, in a, you know, a wave of emotion. We want to make sure we're just going to show up tomorrow with the exact same approach that we showed up with today. Uh, because, frankly, if our, if our guys stay with their game plan and stay with their approach, they're pretty good. As we said before, Southern Ohio now leading this series one to nothing. It is best two out of three. And tomorrow the tables kind of turn as the Copperheads head to Western Hills High School in Cincinnati for game two. Now, Kevin, if they lose this ball game tomorrow, they will play again Friday in a crucial game three. But here's the interesting thing. If they win tomorrow and end the series, it all depends on how the Lima Licking County series plays out to know when they'll play next. Because if Licking County, who's ahead 1-0 right now, wins game two tomorrow, the cop could be right back in action in the championship series on Friday. However, if that other series goes to three games, the Copperheads would get a much needed day off on that Friday. So a couple of big things could happen over the next day. Yeah, there's no doubt. It all depends on what happens in that other series. And because of that, you have to be focus on whatever could happen. You can't let any type of situation be in your head because uh, quite frankly anything can happen and most likely will happen uh, in the playoffs. So the Copperheads just need to continue doing what they are doing and then they will see who they play uh, whenever the time rolls around. For tomorrow's game the first pitch should be at 7 p.m. So if you want to listen into our broadcast just tune in around 6:45. that's when we plan to go on air. You can go to copperheadbaseball.com to listen in, just click on the away game link. And we also are going to try to have that broadcast on Power 105. If the Cincinnati ballpark will allow it, we will be going through the radio station as well. So make sure you listen to Kevin and myself. And also, make sure you look into all of our social media, the Facebook page, the Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and finally, our YouTube account. Search Copperheads Baseball, and you can find all kinds of new material from on and off the field surrounding this team. But with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a recap of the Game 1 victory, 8-6 over the Cincinnati Steam.